Welcome to the Crucial Classics YouTube channel where we watch movies from the golden age of Hollywood together. You bring your copy and we both push play at the same time and let's just enjoy the magic of these films. The advantage of being a subscriber is you'll have the ability to watch these movies for free on the original sites that I find them on, but either way it doesn't matter because you're bringing your own copy. You'll always be able to watch along. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics. We're doing a little midnight viewing with the low lighting. We like to start by looking at the wall, decorated like this, because old movies are important for 31 years. So today's title, um, I want to explain, this is the movie that introduced me to the 2B TV app. And this movie popped up and I was like, ooh, this is the movie that I've only seen once before. That, literally, I have only caught this movie one time before, and this is what I'm talking about. I'm looking for a Robert Mitchum movie right now that I haven't seen 500 times. And I just clicked on it in 2B TV, and I loved my watching experience. I've told you, by far, this is my favorite ad-included streaming service because they are very respectful of your time with the ads that will show up. And I love this movie. This movie is giving us unique performances from everyone involved. And let's count. We have Frank Sinatra. We don't see him doing a role like this very often. We have a Robert Mitchum. We don't see him doing a role like this very often. Olivia de Havilland is, what in the world is she doing? This is like the one hit in her career that she gives us this type of a portrayal. And we also have Gloria Graham. Let's not forget Gloria Graham. And I guarantee you guys have probably seen the portion of her and Mitchum interacting just in clips. There is a clip of the interaction between her and Mitchum in this movie that's on YouTube. And I got excited one time because I was like, oh, what is that? And I watched it and I was like, that's that movie? I, I couldn't remember what the name of this movie was called. But there's like a maybe three to five minute clip somebody uploaded years back of a key scene of the two of them in this movie so yeah this is a really memorable movie let's call it that do me a favor guys like the video like any of my videos so subscribe so that now you can just really easily have it like set aside for yourself my channel binge watch me I love to have enough content that I can tell you guys to do that. Binge watch me. And as you make your way through the titles, the ones that you find yourself sitting through, hit the like button for me. I really could use as much help from you guys with engagement as possible. It just really helps out my channel. I am growing it. My goal is a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. We're on a great trek getting there. You guys are doing a great job of subscribing. I really appreciate it. But if you could just please give me that extra little help for the channel by liking any of the videos that you enjoy the content. So just have to spit that out. That being the case too, I'm also just going to right now play my little commercial for my new member site. So let me let that play. <laughs> to say that titles getting added to that may be a little bit delayed because I am just absolutely delighted right now you guys to have come across such a really big batch of movies that I'm going to be able to give to you 100% for free like this via these two new platforms just new platforms for where we're sourcing content uh, but right now we have a great movie over there with Robert Mitchum out of the past that's probably like it's off of the chart with the rating of a find in Robert Mitchum's catalog this I can guarantee you mom didn't rate this movie four stars okay the one that we're about to watch but out of the past is like a defining film noir so that's available right now on the site all about Eve is available there and then hello gone with the wind Okay, so if you want to watch Gone with the Wind with me, hop on over there, 
titles will be continuing to get at it. I <laughs> think of the word. Um, the next one I really have in mind is The Postman Always Rings Twice. Why? Because that is a five-star movie and nobody plays it enough. So let's watch that one together. I don't want that to be a barrier to entry. I definitely want you guys to feel comfortable hopping over there to spend time with me there too. That's the reason why I've tried to make it as doable a monthly um, price as possible. It's a cup of coffee, your venti, fluffy whipped cream, caramel <laughs> latte. Um, so the, for the price of that, I'm giving you unlimited access to an online library that will just be continuing to grow. So would definitely appreciate your support checking that out as well. Our count, oh, watching this on one screen with me. Do two tabs. I'm thinking that's going to be the easiest way for you to easily be able to pause me anytime that the ads will quickly pop up in this film playback. Um, because when you have the two tabs going, none of the buttons seem to disappear completely. So you should be able to access my pause button pretty easily. Uh, so the two tab option, or you could do picture in picture, which is taking me and shrinking me down and putting me over the full screen movie. But let's go playing. I'm a little off of the screen here, just getting in position here. Playing in three, two, one, click. He's so loud, right? The whole thing is loud. Hold on. Oh. Okay, that was interesting to see Stanley Kramer. That name is familiar, but I don't know that just right off of the bat I know his catalog, but okay, Olivia de Havilland comes in built over everybody. That makes sense. This is 1955, so by then, yes, she would be top billing. Broderick Crawford, though, he's in everything, too. Charles, I forgot about Charles Bickford. He's also in everything. I see a movie on here um, called All the King's Men with Broderick Crawford that I think he won an Oscar for around this time frame too. Might have been 49 or into the 50s, so maybe we should watch that. I've never seen it. George Anfield does the music. Costume supervision by Joe King. Esperanza Corona, that's a cool name for hair. Oh, we even have gowns. I wonder who has gowns separate from the costumes. Okay, produced and directed by Stanley Kramer. This thing is exceptionally loud. I turned it down to halfway, and I can't hear myself speaking to you guys. Oh, yeah, I remember. I haven't seen this movie for about four months. If I watched it for a month when I first found it, I haven't seen it since then. Oh, but it's good. You'll just want to binge this. When you think about it, these three young men that just came in very much did not focus on the room. Because there's a lot of people in the room.
He just did it that quick. What I was going to say is those three thugs sitting there are supposed to be um, med students. Okay, so yeah, I somebody passes out. Look, who is that dude over on the edge? He's in that movie with uh, Glenn Ford, The Big Heat, huh? He's, oh, and he's with Gloria Graham in that movie, too. Oh, so those two are roommates. It's just hilarious, right? Like, movies that we've seen all of them in other than this, they're thugs, right? <laughs> and here they're supposed to be doctors. I love this scene of her. We saw her get excited to find a table where she could sit by herself. Isn't this so telling of her right away? Didn't we kind of think, oh, is she a little fresh on... No, she's this good girl, huh? You can just tell. I Didn't you love that? The way she was, her face lightened up so she could come and sit by herself. That would be me. <laughs> Um, okay. So she's already up and running and she gets paged to go do surgeries. Oh, look at him. What is that? It looks like old pomegranate seeds or what I don't know pomegranate is delicious oh really dang they were like don't think about eating anything other than your little dry cheese sandwich okay <laughs> so he's hungry though that's how he's getting by him And I love, like, Frank Sinatra is giving us a little thug med student. Has he divorced Ava Gardner by now? I was going to say, does he just sleep? Oh, that's what you got to make your payment. Uh, 
Oh, he um, just burns it right away. Alrighty then. Well, the sound is great. I wonder what age he's supposed to be serving us because, I mean, I'm not getting, like, early 20s. Is, is it what it's supposed to be, though? This is following out of the past. Out of the past is 1947. This is 55, so, you know, he's made a lot of films by now. This is the same year he does Night of the Hunter! This guy is in a lot of movies too. Well, is he supposed to when you just... Yes, I stole all of your money that you need for school. That is the only thing you're obsessed about. who he gives an F of your opinion. I mean, well, now is just not the time to be expecting that from him when he is not able to pay his bills for medical school, that he is obviously like the most serious person in his class. And you just told him that you stole his money, that his mother left when she passed away. It was her wishes that money she saved throughout this kid's life. I mean, stop. You have to have a heart. Look. Monday, he just said. What is he? Does he keep it? Oh, he does. Oh, he has no shame now, too. He's
Look. Hmm. So that's kind of interesting how he doesn't have any shame to, like, ask people for a lot of money. <laughs> Does he take it? He puts his money problems on people. The bursar. So he needs like three seventy five now. Or three twenty five. But he needed four hundred. This dude gave him seventy five. Oh. How cool the way they look with their masks on, you can still recognize them. Have you guys ever had a surgery where you've had to be put under like this? <gasps> Did he react? No, huh? Well, he just said he's supposed to. I have, I had to have my appendix taken out. Look at the way. Wait, are they gonna show that? Because I do not need to see it, thank you. So, her job is very just methodical, tactical, and a technique of properly and taking one stitch at a time. Is he going to poke him in the foot with that pin again? See, that's kind of mean because you know that he's in a lot of pain anyway just from coming out of surgery you guys did just slice him open okay okay it worked the only hold on I'll
Okay, well... Okay, good. Because they're going to school for that. Yum. Anyway, when I woke up from getting my appendix taken out, I sneezed immediately, not realizing I had just had major surgery. I'm just coming out of the anesthesia, and I sneezed as hard as I could because it was freezing, and the pain... This is like watching mukbangers on YouTube, dude. <laughs> this man is eating. Look at Olivia de Havilland's appearance. The yolk. It's gross the way that man's eating him. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just seems gross that that's what that man is shoving into his mouth. It kind of looked like ham or something, but that's fish. <laughs> I don't do fish. Okay, um, you know what? You don't need to be counting Christie's money. Ooh. He needs about three seventy five of that. Break him off a chunk, cause it was a little bit more than four hundred that he needed, right? He needs collateral, like the dude in Best Years of Our Lives wanting the loan for his farm, right? Robert Mitchum. He doesn't have a shame of asking people for money, huh? So...
<laughs> he's not like that, though. I, he's really serious about his school. He may be a player, but... Say yes, though. Nice. Wow, that's the Barefoot Contessa. That's cool that they would have another movie poster. Luke, how could you give her something to eat? Her dress is giving me a very Asian flair, a very, you know, kind of like a little, it's the Mandarin color. Her accent isn't extremely pronounced, Luke, but the way she talks is... Yeah. Shana, how? I forgot his eyes are like blue. When he's in black and white, I don't always notice it. Some angles. He's moving fast with her, huh? Because when he went to the smorgasbord thing with her, he was just being polite for the surgery. Three or four times.
That guy is always um, overeating. Look at him. This tragic music, right? Oh, because she's just stepped away, though. He's preoccupied with this money. And that's so sad. She loves him since weeks ago. Because he, yes, we understand. And he's a smart dude. Huh? He's like a geek. Does he say about the money? She doesn't know. Why would she say that? Then why did she just say she doesn't know? Look at his face. He's an interesting study. All, his dad called him out on it. All he cares about is his Becoming a doctor, that, I mean, and that's a lofty goal, and it's time-consuming, and you have to have the intellect for it. Um, and so, you, he's not, like, a player, player, kind of, I guess he is, though, because she already said, this nurse, that nurse. This <laughs> scene. <laughs> so there it is. There it is. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, 
to not to try to push him up. <laughs> oh. You know, Luke, don't squash him. <laughs> never laughed that hard at that scene, but wow, dude, um, <laughs> I forgot he started to laugh. <laughs> oh, shoot. So they got married, like, right away. He got this signed, sealed, and delivered in the 30 days deadline. He got time to spare. Married an old, whatever he called her, but he said old. That was afraid of being an old maid. She is not a spring chicken, huh? She's not supposed to be giving that to us. She's not supposed to be giving us a young girl because she's not in school. She's already an established surgeon nurse and he's the one in school but you also gather that he kind of got a late start in pursuing this oh wow well, okay he's gonna make her little dreams come true huh cuz she would hope that if she could manage to get married she'd have a husband that could be strong enough to carry her over the threshold. Eh? Like, if she just was worried about being an old maid, um, yum. You know what I mean? There was worrying about you don't want to be single, so you would just take what you could get, right? A farmer, isn't that what that fool was saying? And then instead you get, um... I don't mean to objectify him so much, but I'm so sorry. It's, um... <laughs> Look... They did a biography of him. He's on it. And he said he's watching in one of his premieres one time. And some lady says that he had a face, like, made for sin. And I'm just so sorry. I concur. <clears throat> he didn't say sin. I think it's called Robert Mitchum, The Reluctant Start. He's got the same look on his face when he asked her to marry him. But he's not happy either. <clears throat> and honey, you shouldn't need to. Actually, don't let that be your fortune cookie, okay? If you, on your wedding night, need to ask your husband if he... Oh, he's pouring. <sighs> I 
Alright, is this... Why in the world is this book there? Because it's... Look, this is her first boyfriend or something. If she just was worried about being an old maid, Harry could have been her man. And instead... And I don't know, Harry looked pretty stocky, so he probably could have picked her up over the threshold, but, um... Know what I mean? You know what I mean. It's like... He said it's his part of the deal. Is the just kind of have to be present in body, but not he's not going to be there in mind or love or in it to win it with her. But he's he's got his full tuition paid for the rest of the time that he needs to be in school, right? Like, that's what just got accomplished for him. It ain't about that one little next bill that he had 30 days to come up with. He didn't just see that. It looked like he just looked at the doctor. <laughs> Is that supposed to be... This man's accent, he doesn't have an accent like that. <laughs> Second year. Second year. Yeah, that seems hard. Whew. Okay, um, that's terrifying. That he would think that that's what he could do.
Okay, you just need to shut up. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> okay, that was the right thing to say. Um... Well, good for him. I love that. Be the one person in front of all those punks to say the right thing. Have the right motivation. Are they showing these fools observing a surgery? Oh my gosh. You wouldn't be operating on me in front of all these people. masks on. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, hell no. Have me in the room with all these people and they don't have masks on too? I'm sitting there listening to this like I need to be ready for a test on it. <laughs> That's her husband now, too. Oh, does he just leave? Huh? Oh, so he recognized where he was, but he just left. Uh-oh. So his pride is more important to him than his medical career? 
Because that fool will prevent him from going anyplace else. He did say he gets a thousand dollars. Does he come in there? That's interesting that she says that. How could she not be smart? That's what it gets back to what I said. Like, it's tactical what she does, but come on now. <clears throat> she gotta be smart. She's not a doctor. No, honey, you were just getting ready to cook his dinner, so you have an out, is what it is. Oh, he didn't speak a word to her, huh? Um, yeah, fool, you might not really be able to make use of that without eating some crow, huh? Oh, he did it the next day. So it's just very political, right? Look at what it is for him. All right, well, that's quite noticeable, Robert Mitchell. You know what I mean? So it's like, you didn't mean one part of that. So I feel like their third year now, right? I feel like another year has gone by. Because he was talking shit and they were in their second year. And now they're... Wait. Residents, right? Grey's Anatomy. I do not watch that show. I watched that show for part of the first season and I cannot believe like 20 years later it's still on. Oh, 
so they all are, are called doctors already. cigar in the hospital. This is just an interesting little sequence right here how they're just going to show every type of scenario that they have to deal with being a resident, huh? Yeah, they're like at the... <laughs> Every little type of scenario. Everybody's smoking. <laughs> all right, um, all of these different scenarios, dude. That was Sinatra. This is just a fun movie, huh? That's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't know that I see Sinatra as a doctor again. Or Mitchum, for that matter. Olivia de Havilland is given us Nordic
Does he care? Oh, okay, he comes back to his dad's house. You know, it was like, is that something that's hard for him? Or had he written his dad off the beginning of the movie, right? And his dad says that he has to have a heart with his patients. He seems to be doing that. He was holding that one old lady's hand, right? He drank himself to death. Huh? He looks like exactly how he looks 20 years later. I mean, right, people, this is just a nice time of a movie, right? It's like, really, these are our doctors? It's kind of scary to think about what he's going to explain right now. Everybody. I mean, y'all don't know who he is by now. Like, it's not a joke to him about this doctor thing. Like, that's what he's really cold blooded, right? But he is serious about being a good doctor, and that is terrifying, right? Like, if you have one of those types of moles, it's like just leave it alone. You take it off, you could have put cancer into her blood stream. Well, yeah, he did. Who cares? But if you were not, Five is the difference. Okay. 
I would have said maybe 50, but all right. Well, he wants the upper hand on him. <laughs> Do you want Frank Sinatra like this? <laughs> He's smoking in the room too. Okay, Frank Sinatra. See, it was important to that dude, too. Like, he wasn't trying to release half-assed doctors out into the world. Yes, indeed. I think the, the doctor um, was just trying to gross him out. Mm. Your life, huh? Yeah. He always is giving us the Greek tragedy face. Uh, his wedding night. Asking that chick to marry him. You know, just Greek tragedy. So here we are in the next phase, next set of characters in this movie. It is kind of interesting the way that they bring people in and out. Charles Bickford, right? The dad from the big country. Well, they packed light um, to bring all of their stuff to this new town. Well, they get the four seasons, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh.
He's acknowledging her intelligence at this point. Wow, this guy just like chose their house for them. That's a bit. <laughs> Look, if you need your appendix taken out, you're gonna want them to go ahead and handle that, okay? Like, nobody can lie to you about that needing to happen. <laughs> you will definitely know. <laughs> you will. He, that's all that's important to him. He just now he's really a doctor. He appreciates that. Huh? He's actually going to be surprised to see how many people there are. Huh? That's a lot of people for this small town. I bet you he didn't m imagine there'd be this many people. is here it's a fun medical movie right <laughs> is that pregnancy test Well, we are not done. I'm just getting all these different little scenarios. That is a safety pin in somebody's lungs? What in the world? in the world are they doing this with that flashing light like that? That really was somebody? Wow.
Okay. Wow, her little tray. I would have thought they were having a little party or something. Well, that matters to him. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. Hmm, okay. Well, do you, Christina? Yeah, well, we know she does. Oh, Christina, um... You can't tell whether or not Luke is conscious. <laughs> but yeah, no, she was quite an accomplished nurse, right? Very skilled. She wasn't just run-of-the-mill. She was in six-hour operations. I kind of would have thought she'd be working there, too. I'm up to the sun is coming up. <laughs> Sometimes watch these movies at the crack of dawn with you guys. What was her first name? Myriad. Um, why is he just staring at her? That was bizarre, the way he was just staring at her in front of that dude, right?
Okay, I just, Gloria Graham, I saw a video of like a biography on her life here on YouTube. You can't like on here certain things, people. Um, I just since then, this is probably about the first movie I've seen her in. Again. No, she's a Macaulay. Actually, I'm just remembering that these two are in Macau together. So it's on repeat. Um, he was looking like his bad boy self. Yeah. And it's one o'clock in the morning, too. And he has to go a long way home. a sudden um the bulk of what that conversation was for didn't have nothing to do with that man that might have a broken head i was like is that christina no huh just a little pharmaceutical rep huh? Well, they're doing thorough scrubbing. I like seeing that. It's kind of cool. It's cleaning under his nails. Yes. compared to me. 
punch him. <laughs> Why is it so low for him? Um, dude, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it fits you correctly. Because Robert Mitchum's is, like, barely up to here. This dude is, like, exposed. <laughs> You're a city boy, okay. When they can't afford, then he does it. Do you, so if they can afford it, y'all have an anesthesiologist, though? <clears throat> oh, so he's just going to go through a whole... Whatever that thing is, jug <laughs> of whatever the. Is there a problem? What, he's going to inject her or something? Is he taking too much time because he's doing that? Because that dude was already going to be cutting her throat. And they're seeing if that relaxes her. Is she quick enough? Where's the oxygen? <clears throat> Fresh gown, new gloves. That is exactly what Mitchum is not here for. He don't got no time to be practicing alongside anybody that he doesn't respect, right? At least when he's home, exhausted with Christina, he's saying this doctor is at least a good doctor, right? And he would critique it harshly. Oh, look at her. <laughs> She cannot dance. Politics. <clears throat> hmm. He just doesn't like that. He doesn't want the separation. Does she look at Luke? Oh, no. Oh, look at where her arm is. <laughs> Usually have.
him it up on his shoulder. Um, Ben is not her man. worried about it. Seriously, Ben? Is he going to get hit? Uh-oh. Yeah, he's not wanting her. Are you going to get knocked out? subject changed and he just told him turn out the light the Greek tragedy right does he clear the air <laughs> oh yeah, you'd imagine he has to say that to her occasionally. She shouldn't have said what she did, though. We understand that. For how important everything is. Okay. You don't have a good foundation, sweetheart.
She's... Clock's ticking, homie. I think that's the reason why she just answered him like that, because if he's going to try and play her for it ne needing to just be next year and next year and next year, her clock is ticking. We already understand she ain't no spring chicken. This is what we may have ever seen of this movie in clips. Oh, well, she'll definitely have whatever he wants, right? When did he kind of start drinking? When he started hanging out with her, huh? Oh, this song. Okay, yeah, I mean, wait, oh, is he trying to let her know he's in love with her? Yeah, fool, you can't turn it on and off, because when have you ever turned it on? My goodness, this was him with it turned on? <laughs> and that's when, yeah, like, how unnoticeable that was for her is that she just feels like a sucker now that she realizes that she kind of messed him up. Wow, that's messed up. We know he is not in love with Christina. Um, and he just let that chick know that he's in love with her. That was stupid. Christina, it was stupid when you knew you were pregnant and you were, Luke, we need to talk about, you know, we're established in this house, you're practicing, you know, if you know that it, it's not whether or not he's down for it, <laughs> she messed up. That's really, really stupid, Christina. It's one of those situations. You need to tell him.
this is the sequence that we may have seen in scenes and little clips. This is the clip that's available on YouTube of this movie. Mm. I understand this better now because I've never dissected this movie like this, right? So he told that chick, it was just earlier in the day, that he's in love with her and he can't just turn it on and off the way she can. Okay, it is too loud, um, but wow, okay. Oh, he, is he coming home or? Yeah, she better do what he tells her to do um, when he's at work. It's not pneumonia. Because that's contagious, right? Okay. Right, well, Robert Mitchum, you know, like swinging him around. <laughs> Merry go round. Dang. 
Okay, yeah, I would just leave. Uh, and you are just so lucky that you are still, like, intact, dude, because he would have destroyed your life. <laughs> See, this is, Christina is his best available nurse, right? So it's like horrible what this man's practice is period, but more importantly than that, this man has a highly contagious disease, such that it's not just that he's an old man dying of pneumonia, it's like, no, he has this very contagious disease that's taken him out, which is like, of course, they're trying to save him. From that, but there's just been a lot of risk to everybody else that was in that big open room with him. They can't even start to think about that yet. Are they safe being in here without their masks on? Uh oh. Well, see, that's something only Christina would have been able to handle there by herself. That is a very frail man. Hmm. Now he definitely wouldn't have been doing that. See, but what would have been horrible, they would have just let this man die, staying in the room with this very contagious disease, infecting the hospital. And so he definitely wouldn't have been opening his eyes again, but dang. Christina, though, he can say that to you because, but you have not told him that it's not just a hypothetical, right? Look, he's just having the conversation with her that she's been having with him. There's, he ain't in the wrong.
And they had already settled that too. What is she gonna do? It's not like they're not married. It's not like, oh, this is just something she's gonna handle all on her own. This is highly unintelligent of her. I, in a way, what he gets on her about her intelligence level, huh? She's being real stupid about this. Oh, so. This is stupid. She's already three months pregnant. Okay. That is so stupid, the way that she's just going to become nine months pregnant and then Luke will maybe observe that. Seriously, he took time. Yeah, because you know that she hasn't handled her business before. Yeah, because you're being really dumb, Christina. Yeah. You need to figure out how to do that. What he's going to tell? Yeah, because he's been there all day. And actually, whenever this whole gets an opportunity to go out to see Mrs. Lang, he doesn't come home, right? Mm, that's how late it is. Well, she did. <coughs> hmm. Yeah. 
you know, just... What a hot mess all of this is, right? This is... My mom turned me on to this movie and she just called this lady like the Lonely Hearts Club queen or whatever, like the queen of the Lonely Hearts Club. But no, this is what comes of marrying somebody that you needed to write a check for the rest of your medical school billing. And you're just going to, you're a part of the deal. Look at how late it is. <laughs> is he going to tell him, like, how long he's been there? Like, all day. Yeah, he knows it's a problem. He, he, yeah, you haven't been at the hospital full. be informed yeah she's she was stupid yeah but you didn't need to understand what the fuck she was talking about now that's like a valid question but obviously the answer is no just like two o'clock in the morning yeah I'll gotta get all the way back down to um, the big city dude I'm leaving at like two o'clock because he only cleared this day off of his schedule full and so she knows where he's been and she knows what time it is that he's coming in And that's the bitch that was dancing with him. And that is on her. I haven't seen this movie in like five minutes. I forgot that she read him 
for every single letter <laughs> of the filth. So she always knew. She just also knew how much she loved him since before he said a word to her. Oh, but she never deluded herself that it wasn't completely about the money that he needed. Oh, man. And that is why her mentality was as if she's going to do this all on her own. Well, yeah, like, how did you see her? Okay, so you went over there and you asked her to call him. She ain't trying to call that fool. Damn, she's really done with his ass. This guy still gets to be there. Well, I thought they know he's in such bad shape, like he's a goner. So Dave was totally prepared though that like he already knew how sick he is and said that it was going to go real quick for him when it happened. So that's why he already said that. But of course, yeah, Luke is not going to just not do this for him. We have to keep in mind what we're going to see in 1955, right? That's actually disgusting. Oh my gosh. But that's pretty cool for 1955. Gross. Don't show it again. Like, I don't need to see that again. Didn't need to see any surgeries. So he just said that he was good to go. They got to get out. He needs more oxygen. He's just doing too much.
He did it. <clears throat> wow. Oh my gosh. You just pierced his heart, dude. Christina said, say which one you want. It's what you'll get. This blood. Oh my gosh. He won't stop him. A costly one, huh? Damn. It's like the first one is. I hate to say it, but it's like now he gets it. I get. I gather he's like hearing his dad. Huh?
and what Christina said that doctors are just ordinary men. This music is really good. Has she already heard? such an interesting movie uh, so there she is top billing makes sense Broderick Crawford over Charles Bickford Myron McCormick I've seen him before he's the guy in The Hustler right Lee Marvin <laughs> there are so many people in that movie my goodness Alrighty then, like and subscribe, Not as a Stranger, 1955, interesting portrayals from everybody in that thing, right? And at the end, I love the way that we got reminded, yes, please don't forget, Miss Olivia de Havilland did receive top billing in that movie, <laughs> so we'll see you guys soon. We have a couple more that are these kind of going away soon titles that we're just going to try and get them in while we can. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.